Hi, this is Wally Anderson. Today we're going to look at how you go ahead and build up a wire for a Molex connector and also how to deep pin it. Hope this helps. We cover these and other topics in our classes we teach. We hope you just check it out. Thanks. So let's take a look here at how to do a Molex connector. I am stripping the wire here, the Tepsil wire, with a wire uh, cutter and you don't have to pull the insulation totally off. We just need a little over an eighth of an inch exposed and we have a real nice clean cut. Now what we'll do is we'll take the female side of this connector, slide it in, and you'll notice that it's got two sets of tabs that will bend over. One on the wire itself, one on the insulation. And there are compression tools here. I that are specifically designed for this type of pin. They can be purchased and what we'll do is we will slide the wire in until the wire is completely centered in, in the first set of uh, tabs. Compress it down and that will seal it up. Sometimes you just give it a light slug, tug and make sure that it's uh, nice and tight. Then we'll come back and do the tabs over the insulation. This provides the strain relief and support for it. We'll go ahead and remove that off of there now. And on the back of the connector you'll find that there are numbers. We're using a little magnifying glass here. So we're going to put this in the hole and then snap it in, give it a look, make sure that it's seated all the way, and then a light tug and make sure that everything's working right. If we had put that in the wrong place, what we do now is we take a depinning tool specifically designed for Molex, slide it over the pin, and then push the center plunger, and that will extract the wire from the plug. We'll take that out. You'll see how it works here. We pull it back and forward. You can see how that would push it out. Then we'll take and insert the wire into the new position again pushing it in and then giving it a light tug. That should do it for you.